What's up, enthusiasts? This holiday season, some of us participated in a small secret Santa, and uh, I was given out of darts as my gift E. So I took a little time, and it really didn't take me that long because uh, I know that out of darts for his personal hurricane doesn't use uh, a painted blaster, he just has a stock standard red, I believe, hurricane. So I've got my standard stock red. Zeus right here and I thought you know it's been a long time coming I actually wanted to paint him up a shell for his hurricane and uh, I thought what what better excuse than to do it now so we're going to turn this Zeus into a nice painted shell that hopefully out of darts will like and maybe use for his personal hurricane because the man's got to have something good to use for his so uh, let's uh Let's get right into turning this into something much nicer looking. So this, getting rid of this piece right here, has been a nightmare. Um, I have been trying to just force my way through by like prying and, and using as many different angles as I could. And I just, just said, screw it. I'm gonna take an X-Acto blade and try and push things out that way by removing the ribs. If we just get it, we just got it. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. I don't like you. I can finally get back to sanding and have this spot gone because uh, the tubing and all that stuff needs to go here. But that, that was an ordeal that resulted in just, yeah, just cutting off the tabs that were the retention system essentially on this spot over here. So that, um, I'm glad that's done. Let's, let, let's get back to sanding so I can actually paint this thing. I'm a little more excited now. So I'll, I'll see you in the next next step part of this. Okay, so we um, make some space. So we're done sanding. Uh, Kind of done sanding. Unfortunately, with me getting a uh, sinus infection and fever and all that, it kind of put a damper on the week that I had planned to really work on this. And so I've sanded it. I got up to 800 grit, but it's not as smooth as I would normally like this to be. But unfortunately, because of the time constraints on this, I, I, we're just gonna have to move forward. And I, I hate to say that and I hate to do this. And I, I'm so sorry out of darts, but we uh, went ahead and taped up the black portions of this. We're gonna leave the black black. Uh, we are going to be painting this white as our kind of base coat to go with. And then we're gonna be hand painting all of our details. And that's gonna be the fun portion. Hopefully the fun portion, uh, time permitting me to do all the detail work that I had in mind. But the idea kind of was we go with a Phantom Core kind of kind of theme is what I settled on. Well, I shouldn't say Phantom Core, but white as in Phantom Core. And then we're going to put our own flair to it because white with some black accents, it's not really, not really what I want to do. So we're going to we're gonna give it just a little bit of a hint of some fabulous. Not, we're not gonna go full fab, we're not gonna, you know, uh, cover it in, in pink and blue, but there's gonna be some blue and pink accents and highlights and whatnot, and that hopefully should give it a nice look when it's all complete. So let's go ahead and put the white spray coats in and then we will uh, be back and start hand painting. We're back and we are done with spray painting. I hope. Um, I initially only planned on doing one color of spray paint and then going in and doing hand painting for the rest, but I kind of took a cue from Mr. Nathan and just let this project evolve on its own and just kind of followed where it was taking me. Uh, so with that said, 
Um, let's let's unwrap this. Let's let's see where we're at. Uh, oh oh no. Oh no. I've already I've already found a terrible terrible mistake. Oh no. So the blue. The blue for the paint on this blaster kind of matches the blue of the, the painter's tape. There's supposed to be painter's tape right here on this square, this rectangle, and, um, well, there's not. There's, there's not at all. Shoo. We may not be done spray painting. Ah, uh, this sucks. I guess I'll be back. All right, let's try this again. Just go ahead and let that be a lesson for uh, all of you. If you're working on a project, just double check things. Just make sure you, you know, have taped everything off. You, you've actually done all the things you need to do. Uh, it'll save yourself time in the future. I know it's easy to rush, but uh, yeah, it's better to be safe. Otherwise, you know, you end up in situations like this. But uh, it's been a couple hours. I, I do not recommend going this early after painting, but I am on a bit of a deadline and want to finish this in time. So we're gonna cross our fingers and you hope this uh, holds up all right. So let's let's start peeling this off and see what we get. Now this has been, uh, like I said, I originally just wanted this to be like a single color for the uh, spray paint and then go in and do hand detailing and all that stuff. And well, it, it, it didn't, it, it didn't. I think that's the best way to put that. It, it, my kind of want to try other things and, and add other layers and see how this, you know, maybe this will look good, maybe this will look good. That kind of took over and took control a bit, which tends to happen on these kind of projects where you just get excited about something. And you know, I finished up the first layer and was looking at the hand guard and um, I was just like, you know, some blue would look really good there. And so we went some blue and I was like, oh, maybe some pink would look good here. So we went some pink, it just, it, it, yeah. It's very easy to get caught up just trying and adding more things and sometimes it's great. Don't, don't prevent yourself from, from exploring different colors and options and and things that you think might look good just because you had an initial idea in your mind. Go with it. The majority of the time, you're probably gonna be pretty pleased or you'll learn something valuable from it. Now, there are times where you can go too far and that can be problematic because you had something you needed to stick to and then maybe you went a little too overboard and that caused, well, uh, the project to look too busy or just be too Full, you know, there's there's things that can happen, but um, let's, you know what? This is gonna take a while, so let's go ahead and speed this portion up and you can see what this is gonna look like. painted shell. Now, there is a lot to do. Um, there's a lot more bleed than I was expecting or hoping, um, so I've got to clean up a fair amount of these lines, which does not exactly excite me considering we're on a bit of a time frame, but overall, mm, I think I'm fairly happy with the way it's looking. We're, we're gonna do some hand painting, obviously. These these circles right here, or uh, ovals right here are gonna get 
some work done on this is gonna get some work done on it uh, and then cleaning up yeah I mean overall I think I think I like the look just you know, gotta really how did that how did paint even bleed into there when it was so close to oh, from the inside oh my goodness okay well we've got we've got a fair amount to clean up so let's uh Let's get to it. And it's done. Well, it's not done. It's far from done, if we're being honest, but it's as done as it's going to get with the time that I have, because I just simply have run out of time, unfortunately. Um, there's so much I still want to do to this. It feels unfinished. It feels uh, not clean, not up to how nice I would like it to be, but hopefully the idea gets across, and hopefully it looks decent like hopefully the idea comes across of it that uh, I wanted something really clean looking and, and kind of not over the top but you know some detail but just a bit of a minimalistic not like crazy excessive look um, yeah, I just I, I wish I had more time to do more hand painting because really to have it feel finished and look the way I wanted it to I would have probably wanted to put four or five more layers of hand painting because that's when things really start to look smooth and nice. And this, um, it, it's the bare minimum of hand painting, unfortunately, to get just the colors that I was kind of going for. Like the metallics here don't quite look the way I want, but it, it just, it, it got to a point where if I wanted to get to out of darts on time, I have to just call it and say this is the final product as it stands as as much as it uh, makes me sad to do so because I really really did wanted this to be completely just fantastic and I feel like it's it's coming up short um, but I guess it's kind of something you have to learn to accept and deal with when you're when you give yourself a timeline is sometimes things don't end up the way you want uh, so you just kind of get them the best you can and uh, you have to go with that. So I, I, I uh, may revisit something similar in the future because I like the idea. I just wish I'd done it better. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let me know. I mean, I, I, I kind of like this just single strip of pink right here. Just a little bit of accent to break things up a little bit. Uh, I've enjoyed doing metallic detailing on rival blasters with the Apollo before for those of you that saw the purple Apollo I had in the past um, those of you that are wondering why there's a rail on this side but not on this side that's because uh, based on the video I took with out of darts when he was here for Ragnar Oktoberfest 
this side of the blaster is where the tubing is on the hurricane and uh, the rail would get in the way, but this side does not have it and I wanted to have that finished kind of look to it. So that's, that's the reasoning for that change there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this build. I am, I'm a little disappointed in myself right now, but like I said, I, I like the idea. Let me know what you think of the idea, the execution, I feel, um, had I given myself more time or had more time, you know, things like weather and being under the weather uh, contributed to the lack of time, but excuses are excuses. Um, I don't know, let me, let, me, let me know what you think of this, because I, maybe I'm being too, too hard on myself over this, or maybe I'm right. Let me know your thoughts on it, because I am uh, curious, curious to see what you think about it. I, I really do hope that uh, Out of Darts, despite the unfinished nature in my opinion, I hope he enjoys it. I hope it's something he can do something with, uh, sh should he so choose to not want to run a stock colored blaster. But this is the uh, present we're gonna go box it up now and ship it off so hopefully we'll be doing more of these kind of paint projects and modding projects and video overviews and whatnot uh as we progress forward so thank you so much for following along this project i hope you enjoyed it i hope uh you'll let me let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and as always thank you so much for watching i'm jangular and I'll see you next time.